I recently uploaded a video on long distress locks. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, I'm going to leave the link in the description box below so that you can go and check it out. I got first request from Unjoku Juliet. Um, she said how to do this hair in attachment. And then the second person or the second person that commented or requested is um, Mika Mawamba please i'm so sorry if i'm wondering the name i'm very very sorry she also said can you please post the hair piece that you used so i figured out that the hair product might not even be available in so many countries so that's why i decided to do the diy wow, so that you can just do it yourself at home For this style i'm going to use a special rich braid i'm going to be using one pack and a half rich braid um extension for this particular hairstyle then for the back braid i'm just going to fold the extension into three and then just uh, fed out the tip of the hair like so So after cutting the hair into three, I'm just going to go ahead to fade out the hair. And to do so, I'm just using both my thumb and my index finger of my left hand to just hold the attachment firm, but not like firm, firm, not too tight. So to pick the attachment or just to fade the attachment, I'm going to be using my index finger and my thumb of the right hand side to just start bringing out the hair like in strands little by little just to fade out the hair so while i'm doing this i'm making sure that the left hand as i'm holding it i'm not just holding i'm not holding it too tight so yeah that's what i'm doing so we'll just continue to pull out strands of hair gradually gradually until i'm done pulling everything just <laughs> And once I'm done pulling this, uh, this is what it looks like. And to smoothen it, I'm just going to be separating the hair in sections like so before I go ahead to use my brush to just smoothen it furthermore. Brushing, I'll be brushing the hair from the tip of the hair down to the bottom or to where I'm holding just gradually from the tip uh, this is so that it can be easy for me to brush and so that it can smoothen up easily or faster so yeah this is what it looks like okay now for the front part of our hair I'm just going to be folding the extension just two so this is what we call cut two And then we'll still repeat the same um, step uh, of the three cut three, which is fading it out, just the same process like that. And then smoothing it with my brush. So for the cut three, I'm going to be using it at the back. And then the cut two, I'm going to be using it in front. That's the middle. Then uh, the front part of the hair, I'm going to be using cut two and extra like cut three so that it can be equal at the back. To make the king kill i'll be taking this much of the hair and then this one is like the cut too so i'm just going to be showing you guys how to diy it with this cut too and i did the cut three off camera for this i'll be using straw and yeah i'll just be wrapping the cut two around the straw like so we'll start the wrapping from the middle part of the straw to just wrap to the end and then take the other side and continue to wrap as well down to the tip and once i get to the tip of a particular end we just take this bobby pin and secure it and then we just go ahead to continue to wrap the second side of the straw like so and then once i get to the end of that particular side we'll still use a bobby pin to just secure it so we'll go ahead to do this about like two two more times so that you understand what i'm doing 
So yeah, this is a very detailed tutorial and I will advise you to watch the video from the beginning to the end so that you don't skip or miss any single step. Once I'm done with the wrapping, we just go ahead to turn all the hairs into this bowl and yeah, we'll be using hot water on it like so. This is so that it will give me like this very deep coils and that's why I'm putting it inside hot water. And while pouring the hot water, I'm making sure that the hot water reach all part of the straw. So I'll freeze the hair a little or the coils a little so that it will be very easy for me to separate the hair just after it or after the hair gets a little bit dry. I'm just going to be using this leave-in conditioner and any leave-in conditioner will do for this. So I'm using this one. This is Mega Growth Leave-In Conditioner. So I'm just going to be applying it. This is so that it can unfreeze a little bit for separation. I'm just applying this product gently, just a little by little, just so that the leave-in conditioner will be able to penetrate all the part of the coils. Once I'm done applying, I'm just unraveling the hair or the extension from the straw and this is what it looks like after unraveling. All right, for me to get that usual rough series hair or kinky hair, we'll just go ahead to separate the hair in pieces like so gradually. Uh, but before that, we'll just take off the ends or the tip first with scissors and then just go ahead to start unraveling or separating it in pieces like so. This is so that it will give me that kinky or series kind of look guys don't forget to share this video to friends and family anyone you know that will be able to watch and learn something from this video share to them share share this video just share it guys please thank you opening it up or separating the hair like just unraveling it and uh, this is what it looks like and uh, this looks so much like the usual series hair or the usual kinky hair that i used in the previous video so yeah i'm just going to be using this now to do the distress locks as requested uh, um, what I like to do first uh, before making the hair or braiding the hair or doing anything to the hair is to apply shine and jam to the back or the back hair of my client. To apply shine and jam to the back of my client's hair, this is so that it can be able to catch up all the flyaway hairs and all the short hairs around that side of her head. And after that, I'm just going to section out the hair and I'm doing this in a smile. Um, the hair at the back, I'm starting with a smile cord. After sectioning, we still go ahead to subsection the hair for box braid and this is so that it will give like this square shape box braid. Since her hair is really short at the back, we'll just try as much as possible to just catch up the short hairs while braiding or box braiding the hair. So yeah, we'll be doing the individual box braid first and uh, before I go ahead to start installing the extension. For box braid, we'll be box braiding from the root of her hair to the tip of her hair. This styling is a protective hairstyle for any hair texture. 
So you see how short the back of her hair is? This kind of cut can or this kind of chop can be caused by relaxer, the type of relaxer you use because most hair types don't require like a harsh or strong chemical relaxer. So the next time she's going to come or visit the salon, we are going to go ahead to just treat her hair. So yeah, and then monitor the growth of her hair. So yeah, after box braiding, this is what it looks like, um, square shape or line by line. So for this particular hair, I made about 30 to 31 single box braid. I counted it because of the hair, the hair extension. So for installation, I'm not going to be doing the crochet method, I'm going to do the wrapping method. Just to start the wrapping method, I'm going to take some amount of hair or the DIY extension and just add it up to her hair. And while adding it up, I'm just making sure that one side is longer than the other side. The side that is not as long as the other side, I'm just attaching or I attach it to her natural hair. While the longer side or the longer extension, I'm just going to use it to wrap her hair. So we'll be doing about three to four tight wrap and from the root so that the extension will be well secured to our hair first before I start to do the loose wrapping. To get that um, butterfly or distress type of look or situation, I'm just going to go ahead to start using my thumbs to just wrap around and the thumb I'm wrapping it loosely and then slightly pull my thumb away and wrap, continue to wrap about like one or two and then pull my thumb again, wrap around my thumb loosely and then slightly pull my thumb like that, like that. So for the distress locks or the distress situation, she actually wants it to be well defined. She wants the distress butterfly situation to be really, really defined. That's why I'm just doing like one without my thumb and then the other, the next one with my thumb or two without my thumb and then the next with my thumb because she actually wants it to be well defined so once i get to the tip or the desired length we just go ahead to turn the hair using my fingers and then just start wrapping back just wrap backwards until i exhaust the extension it once i'm done with the wrapping and also the knotting of the hair we just go ahead to roll the hair in between my hands like so just so that it can secure everything and also give it that fluffy or soft kind of look i will just continue repeating the same step over and over again but if you really want like a detailed tutorial on this hairstyle you can check the description box below i have a detailed tutorial or if you want to see a long length look i have a detailed tutorial on that how to make the hair very long with this same extension i have a detailed tutorial on that you can check the description box below so yeah if you like to see the product and the equipment i use for freelance um i'm going to leave a link in the description box below so that you can go and check it out i already filmed a video just in case you are wondering the products i use i just go ahead to check the description box below and also if you're a beginner you like to learn how to box braid box braid with extension i have a detailed tutorial on this i uploaded a video like a few weeks back i'm going to leave the link in the description box below so that you can easily go and check it out beginners box braiding from scratch like with extension from scratch i'm very sure you're going to learn one or two from that video so just go ahead to check the description box below right at this point i'm going to allow you to just watch the video watch it from the beginning to the end so that you don't get to miss any single step and if you have any question you can leave it in the comment section below and so yeah
once i'm done wrapping the hair i'm just using scissors to trim off every fly away hairs i see around we'll just trim it off and then to lay her baby hairs we'll still be using shine and jam to lay her baby hairs So finally i'm helping her to just style the hair and thank you so much for watching the hair the video from the beginning to the end hope you're able to learn one or two things from this video if you did just go ahead to click on the subscribe button and if you did not also click on the subscribe button give this video a big thumbs up share the video to friends and family and leave a comment on what you think about this hairstyle the diy process and then the hairstyle as well let me know in the comment section and i will talk to you guys in my next video stay blessed bye